Wolf. The wolf, also known as the gray wolf or gray wolf, is a large canine native to Eurasia and North America. More than 30 subspecies of Canis lupus have been recognized, and gray wolves, as colloquially understood, comprise non-domestic, feral subspecies. The wolf is the largest extant member of Canidae, males averaging 40 kg and females 37 kg. Wolves measure 105 to 160 cm in length and 80 to 85 cm at shoulder height. The wolf is also distinguished from other Canis species by its less pointed ears and muzzle, as well as a shorter torso and a longer tail. The wolf is nonetheless related closely enough to smaller Canis species, such as the coyote and the golden jackal, to produce fertile hybrids with them. The banded fur of a wolf is usually mottled white, brown, grey, and black, although subspecies in the Arctic region may be nearly all white. Of all members of the genus Canis, the wolf is most specialized for cooperative game hunting as demonstrated by its physical adaptations to tackling large prey, its more social nature, and its highly advanced expressive behavior. It travels in nuclear families consisting of a mated pair accompanied by their offspring. Offspring may leave to form their own packs on the onset of sexual maturity and in response to competition for food within the pack. Wolves are also territorial and fights over territory are among the principal causes of wolf mortality. The wolf is mainly a carnivore and feeds on large wild-hooved mammals as well as smaller animals, livestock, carrion, and garbage. Single wolves or mated pairs typically have higher success rates in hunting than do large packs. Pathogens and parasites, notably rabies, may infect wolves. The global wild wolf population was estimated to be 300,000 in 2003 and is considered to be of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN. Wolves have a long history of interactions with humans, having been despised and hunted in most pastoral communities because of their attacks on livestock, while conversely being respected in some agrarian and hunter-gatherer societies. Although the fear of wolves exists in many human societies, the majority of recorded attacks on people have been attributed to animals suffering from rabies. Wolf attacks on humans are rare because wolves are relatively few, live away from people, and have developed a fear of humans because of their experiences with hunters, ranchers, and shepherds. Description The wolf is the largest member of the Canidae family, and is further distinguished from coyotes and jackals by a broader snout, shorter ears, a shorter torso and a longer tail. It is slender and powerfully built with a large, deeply descending rib cage, a sloping back, and a heavily muscled neck. The wolf's legs are moderately longer than those of other canids, which enables the animal to move swiftly, and to overcome the deep snow that covers most of its geographical range in winter. The ears are relatively small and triangular. The wolf's head is large and heavy, with a wide forehead, strong jaws and a long, blunt muzzle. The skull is 230 to 280 mm in length and 130 to 150 mm in width. The teeth are heavy and large, making them better suited to crushing bone than those of other canids. They are not as specialized as those found in hyenas though. Its molars have a flat chewing surface, but not to the same extent as the coyote, whose diet contains more vegetable matter. Females tend to have narrower muzzles and foreheads, thinner necks, slightly shorter legs, and less massive shoulders than males. Adult wolves measure 105 to 160 cm in length and 80 to 85 cm at shoulder height. The tail measures 29 to 50 cm in length, the ears 90 to 110 mm in height, and the hind feet are 220 to 250 mm. The size and weight of the modern wolf increases proportionally with latitude in accord with Bergman's rule. The mean body mass of the wolf is 40 kg, the smallest specimen recorded at 12 kg and the largest at 79.4 kg. On average, European wolves weigh 38.5 kg, North American wolves 36 k, and Indian and Arabian wolves 25 kg. Females in any given wolf population typically weigh 2.3 to 4.5 kilograms less than males. Wolves weighing over 54 kilograms are uncommon, though exceptionally large individuals have been recorded in Alaska and Canada. In Middle Russia, exceptionally large males are given a maximum weight of 69 to 79 kilogram. Pelage. The wolf has very dense and fluffy winter fur, with a short undercoat and long, coarse guard hairs. Most of the undercoat and some guard hairs are shed in spring and grow back in autumn. The longest hairs occur on the back, particularly on the front quarters and neck. 
especially long hairs grow on the shoulders and almost form a crest on the upper part of the neck. The hairs on the cheeks are elongated and form tufts. The ears are covered in short hairs and project from the fur. Short, elastic and closely adjacent hairs are present on the limbs from the elbows down to the calcaneal tendons. The winter fur is highly resistant to the cold. Wolves in northern climates can rest comfortably in open areas at minus 40 degrees Celsius by placing their muzzles between the rear legs and covering their faces with their tail. Wolf fur provides better insulation than dog fur and does not collect ice when warm breath is condensed against it. In cold climates, the wolf can reduce the flow of blood near its skin to conserve body heat. The warmth of the foot pads is regulated independently from the rest of the body and is maintained at just above tissue freezing point where the pads come in contact with ice and snow. In warm climates, the fur is coarser and scarcer than in northern wolves. Female wolves tend to have smoother furred limbs than males and generally develop the smoothest overall coats as they age. Older wolves generally have more white hairs on the tip of the tail, along the nose, and on the forehead. Winter fur is retained longest by lactating females, although with some hair loss around their teats. Hair length on the middle of the back is 60 to 70 mm, and the guard hairs on the shoulders generally do not exceed 90 mm, but can reach 110 to 130 mm. A wolf's coat color is determined by its guard hairs. Wolves usually have some hairs that are white, brown, gray and black. The coat of the Eurasian wolf is a mixture of ochreous yellow to orange and rusty ochreous orange, red, brown colors with light gray. The muzzle is pale ochreous gray, and the area of the lips, cheeks, chin, and throat is white. The top of the head, forehead, under and between the eyes, and between the eyes and ears is gray with a reddish film. The neck is ochreous. Long, black tips on the hairs along the back form a broad stripe, with black hair tips on the shoulders, upper chest and rear of the body. The sides of the body, tail, and outer limbs are a pale dirty ochreous color, while the inner sides of the limbs, belly, and groin are white. Apart from those wolves which are pure white or black, these tones vary little across geographical areas, although the patterns of these colors vary between individuals. In North America, the coat colors of wolves follow Glodge's rule, wolves in the Canadian Arctic being white and those in southern Canada, the US, and Mexico being predominantly gray. In some areas of the Rocky Mountains of Alberta and British Columbia, the coat color is predominantly black, some being blue-gray and some with silver and black. Differences in coat color between sexes is absent in Eurasia, females tend to have redder tones in North America. Black-colored wolves in North America acquired their color from wolf-dogged mixture after the first arrival of dogs that accompanied humans across the Bering Strait 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. Research into the inheritance of white color from dogs into wolves has yet to be undertaken. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.